millennial cliche and the older generation say that I should get a handle on it but it's the scars from their behavior that got me this melancholic why do I feel like I stepped into my 20s and had to pick up the pieces of everyone else's the selfish the hell-bent the ones who thought their actions would be irrelevant what's good I feel like I've just walked into adulthood carrying buckets of wisdom turned to water to put out fires like I'm not just someone's daughter I can't comprehend the complacency of the village that was raising me. Men acting with full unfettered agency to hurt and put this rage in me. And I'm tired of being told to chill when I'm the one calling out the shit that could kill. My mental health spiralling deeper still. Observing thoughts churning, no sleep. I can't remember the last time I really slept. And I can't remember the last good dream. My brain is always churning things over and over and over. And I'm constantly suppressing on them thoughts of reminiscing in and out of codependence with any chemical depressant. Ruminating on the past, contemplating how they act. I'm suspicious and vicious trying to find in my heart a trace of forgiveness. How can those that turned a blind eye turn from me like I'm the bad guy? Just because I pulled back the curtain so there could be no truth uncertain, that is weak. And I have respect for them that stood up and said that they should have done more. But that respect comes on like lights on an empty dance floor. It's uncomfortable to look at. Because in a space for celebration, I just see loss and hesitation. Trials and tribulations, stipulations, mental occupations on power trips and validation. I want this to end on a good note. But eight witnesses and no jail time reads more like a Hemingway quote. You know, something about drinking into an early grave. And it's alarming that I catch myself falling because I've been ignoring the emotions I find jarring. 26 charges for another. And the words of those defending him apparently don't warrant a reaction to the abhorrent. Don't elicit defence and understanding for the children that are warring. How can you sit at a table with willful ignorance, with dangerous malignance, raising a glass with people that downplay any aspect of this instance? I'm still waiting on apologies. And even more than that, I'm still waiting on accountability and civility when it comes to people's company. If I told you what they did, how the hell are you still friends? A means to an end, services provided, Trump lives shattered and in crisis. I see how it is. Don't at me. I don't have the patience for this. Victim and witness to she said that he did.